everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Repeat Rod, and today we are going to be doing another Deep Rock Galactic build guide. This is for the Warthog Auto Shotgun for Engineer. We're going to be going over each of the overclocks and going over each of the builds that I use with them. These may not be the most well optimized builds, and I find that this weapon is a little bit weird to optimize anyway, since with no build, can you actually one shot, body shot, or grunt? I usually just pick whatever I feel the most comfortable with. Uh, first up is Stunner. So, Stunner makes it so you have a higher chance of stunning enemies, as well as if any enemy is stunned, whether you did it or somebody else did it, then you deal 30% increased damage to that enemy. This one is a pretty strong overclock, and honestly, it works really well with any build that you want to go with the shotgun. It really doesn't matter. The usual way that I build the shotgun is going with overstuffed magazine. In tier 2, I usually go with expanded ammo bags just to have that extra ammo because the shotgun can run through ammo pretty fast. In tier 3, honestly, all of these are good. Sometimes I'll go with the quick fire ejector, sometimes I'll go with the high capacity magazine, and sometimes I'll go with the recoil dampener. In tier 4, both of these options are good too. I usually go with the tungsten coated buckshot. I find that the armor piercing is a little bit more useful than the direct damage. Although you could if you would like. Either way, you can one-shot headshot a grunt with the shotgun regularly. So in tier 5, you can go with either turret whip or minor adjustments. Usually I go with minor adjustments because I'm more used to it. But turret whip can work really well with this because this does inflict a stun whenever you shoot the turret and it hits enemies around you. So that just complements your stunner all that much more. Personally, I usually go with minor adjustments and that works just fine for me. Our second overclock is lightweight magazines. I really like this one because this increases your reload speed and gives you extra ammo. Two things that are always welcomed on pretty much every weapon, but the ammo especially on this particular weapon. So for this, once again, I usually go with the overstuffed magazines just because I find it a little bit more useful than the supercharged feed mechanism, but you could go with either one. This is another overclock that works well with any build that you want to go with. Tier 2, you could go with expanded ammo bags and have 150 rounds. That is really nice to have. You could go with loaded shells if you want a bit more damage per second and you want a bit more consistent kills on things like grunts because this will be able to one-shot headshot them a little bit easier. Same with if you want choke. Choke works really well too. And tier 3, um, I usually go with quick fire ejector with this one just so that I can have that 1.1 second reload. That is really nice. It makes the gun feel so much more snappy. Tier 4, once again, I usually go with tungsten coated buckshot for the same reason. And then tier 5, I usually go with minor adjustments just so that I can shoot faster. Moving on to our one balanced overclock, which is probably my favorite overclock for the Warthog shotgun, and that is the magnetic pellet alignment. This one makes it so you have 50% reduced spread, which is really good. It makes it so you can effectively use the shotgun at longer ranges than you really uh, are used to, unless you're taking choke a lot. And this is pretty much choke added onto your gun. You also get bonus weak spot damage, which is really nice. You can kill things like acid spitters, web spitters very easily with the shotgun. You could also kill menaces much easier than you normally would. So that's always a great thing. And this only comes with the downside of rate of fire. With this one, I always go with minor adjustments, which pretty much negates the rate of fire. So at that point, it's just a bonus, and then you can build it however you like. Usually, I build it with, once again, the overcharged magazine, or you could go with supercharged feed mechanism if you find that rate of fire is just too slow for you. Uh, in Tier 2, I go with more ammo. More ammo is really good with this. In Tier 3, uh, you could go with any of these. Once again, you could go with recoil reduction. You could go with the quick fire ejector. You could go with the high capacity magazine. All of them are fine choices. And then in tier 4, once again, I usually go with the tungsten coated buckshots, but uh, bigger pellets is also really good here because it's just easier to hit enemies at a longer range, so doing more damage with those pellets is always going to be a good thing. Moving on to our unstable overclocks, we have cycle overload. This gives you more damage, more rate of fire, but a longer reload time and more spread. So you can either try to minimize the weaknesses that this has. You could go with the tier 3 faster reloads to negate the... Uh, reload speed. You could also take the tier 2 for the choke to have an increased spread. Then you'll just have the faster rate of fire and the higher damage. I usually don't like going this for this particular build. Um, usually I just try to go all damage with this one or try to do as much DPS as I can. So I usually go with the supercharged feed mechanism, although overstuffed magazines is fine. Go with more ammo because you can chew through ammo really fast with this. I will usually go with the quick fire ejector. That is to negate the slower reload speed, but recoil dampener or high capacity magazines are good choices. Tier 4, tungsten coated buckshot, and then tier 5, minor adjustments. This just gives me the highest rate of fire that I can. And with the faster reloads, I can empty out all six rounds really quick, but you can shred through enemies fairly fast because of how much damage per second you can do. And then our last overclock is mini shells. 
This makes it so we get way more ammo at 78 extra. We get double the magazine size, but we lose out on our stun, so we can't stun enemies anymore, and we lose out on two damage. Oh, but we also get 50% reduction in recoil, which is really nice. So with this one, you can try to build up damage, and if you take both the damage perks, you have to take both of them, you can still one-shot headshot a grunt with this. And if you like doing that, you can. I usually don't. I'm usually okay with a headshot and a body shot, so that's usually how I build the mini shells. But uh, if you just want to hit that break point of killing grunts, you can. And the way that I would build it then is just going with more magazine, the larger shells, whatever you want for tier three. Um, probably like larger magazine again for me. Minor adjustments. This just gives me a good rate of fire and a large magazine of 16. And then you can one shot headshot grunts. And I have used this build and I like it pretty well. The other build that I really like using with this one is going with overstuffed magazine, expanded ammo bags. Um, again, any of these are fine. I wouldn't recommend going with a recoil dampener for this because it's just, you don't get as much value out of it, but you could take it if you want. So any of these are fine. Uh, going with the tungsten coated buckshot and then going with minor adjustments. This is usually how I build the mini shells. And like I said, this won't one shot headshot a grunt, but you can one shot. Well, you can two shot them if you hit one of them in the head. So this is usually the builds that I use with these overclocks. Hopefully this helped you out. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. If you guys uh, aren't subscribed, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications when I post these videos. Special thanks to the supporters of the channel. If you guys would like to be part of this list, be sure to join it down in the links below, uh, both to Patreon and to YouTube. Thank you guys all for doing that. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to see my other Deep Rock Galactic videos, be sure to click over here. That'll take you to a playlist full of them. Thanks again, and bye.